got everything. It's spectacle, it's got sea battles, it's got land battles, it's got Cleopatra's court with all its luxury and beauty. Well, I think some people might think I'm quite mad to um, try and direct a play and play Antony. It didn't start out like that, but it's ended up like that. And it's got politics, especially. That's the, for me, the great joy of this play, seeing the, the balance of power shifting between the, the three great men. There's not a minute of our lives should stretch without so pleasure now! Nay, but this dotage of our general overflows the measure! When such a mutual pair and such a twain can do it, in which I bind on pain of punishment the world to weep, we stand up here. This is what I'll be wearing. Uh, just trying to un get it all fitted. It's all been handmade. Uh, all, everyone's costumes have been handmade. The belly dancing costume looks amazing. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. Now playing Charmian, she's so loyal and devoted to her mistress Cleopatra. Chris is very, very passionate. Uh, he sort of knows what he wants, but he's he's so intense with it, and and he's also allowing everybody the freedom to give their ideas. <laughs> I was taught uh, to fire it in, um, in another production that I was doing. Relax, sir. No, her passions are made of nothing but the finest pure love. It was really good fun performing uh, in Caterham at the festival. We got a really good audience coming to see us who stuck through the, the, the poor weather we had uh, and it made it such a great experience that, uh, yeah, I'm really happy to come back for more. Octavia is, is a great character because She's a complete contrast to Cleopatra. The costumes for belly dancing are quite spectacular. <laughs> I'm absolutely delighted you're coming back after the success of last year. It was a really good performance. You did Midsummer Night's Dream, and to have Anthony and Cleopatra rule the scenery and everyone getting involved, it's marvellous. Thank you very much.